Namaste beautiful yogis, today we are doing yoga and weights session so uh, it's a workout combining weight yoga for pregnancy second and third trimester appropriate of course you can do it during the first trimester or after your pregnancy uh, for recovery when you start back up exercising uh, but it is very appropriate for the third trimester um, and uh, it will be uh, somewhat advanced so not for beginners if you're familiar with my yoga that's a good foundation uh, for you if you're not familiar with my yoga and you just happen to come across this video either you should have some knowledge in yoga and you should have a background in interval training that I offer or you can go to my beginner classes and stay with that you can come back to this class postnatally when you're recovering because they are focusing on the alignment in the pelvic area and the uh, uh, contraction of the deep abdominal muscles which is what we want during pregnancy and during recovery from birth and so forth so uh, you don't need to have uh, dumbbells but if you have dumbbells that will be great We'll start at the front of our mat, extending the tailbone slightly down, pulling the transverse abdominals in, so we're not flattening the belly, we're just contracting that deep abdominal uh, muscles that are wrapping our midsection. So we're finding that muscle work here, core work, which is supporting the belly, but it's also giving relief to the lower back. So it's a good good thing to learn how to do, even during your walks, when you work and so forth. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale your hands over the head, lift. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, look ahead of you and step into down dog. We're skipping planks because we're not able to support the belly properly uh, once the belly is big, so no need for planks anymore. Nice deep inhalations. Down dog I find to be pretty um, important because it does give us a good inversion. And let's lower onto the elbows, dolphin. And come back up onto the hands. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, come up warrior one. For more detailed instructions, my beginner classes will cover all these details. I don't want to be redundant with explanation of each and every aspect of a pose. In my uh, advanced series, you want to rotate the left hip forward, press the right hip bone back, lift, lengthen, open into warrior two, reverse the warrior, walking the left hand down the left leg, side angle, right hand in front of the right foot or right elbow over the right knee exhale both hands on the floor step back down dog spread the fingers wide open lifting the tailbone high lowering the heels down inhale the left leg up Step it through, drop the back heel down, come up, warrior one. Pressing the thigh bone back, rotating the right hip forward so that the hips can work towards a square alignment. And open into warrior two.
and let's reverse it. Walking the right hand down the right leg and side angle. There is a few options here, left hand on the floor or left elbow over the left knee and step it back, down dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left. And drop the foot behind you. Wow thing. Lifting the hips high here. Side plank, left hand on the floor. Left shoulder over the left wrist. Drop both hands on the floor, back to down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Open the hip. Wow thing. Side plank. Keeping the tailbone aligned here, you don't want to pop your booty back and you don't want to over tuck. Natural alignment, TVA engaging, the deep core muscles engaging, I have a video on that. I think it's called pregnancy yoga or something like that. Nature, maybe a few videos. And back to down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back knee down. And we're going to stretch here the right hamstring and the left quadriceps, which will prevent you from cramping at night, restless leg syndrome, can help with sciatica. So point your toes forward, aligning your foot with the side of with the end of your mat, and stretch here to the side. All these poses I'm including very purposefully. Everything is geared towards particular uh, symptom and shift over to the opposite side, stretching here. You can use your shoulder to open that knee away from you and you will feel the relief along your tailbone. Your tailbone is under a lot of pressure right now so this is this pose is included in the sequence on purpose and now let's face the back of the room and lower the right knee down, stretch here, left knee over the left ankle and not over the toes. Great, coming out of this squat, yogic squat. From here, hands on the floor, step your feet a little wider and come up into a plie. Dip a little deeper in your plie, hands over the knees, look over one shoulder, over to the other side. And let's reach left arm over the head, right, left, right, left, right. Deepen it, right. And we're going to lift the toes, opposite side. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, 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 sink a little deeper and let's pose here in plie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. From here we are going to bend the right knee, toes forward, side lunge. Side lunge, side lunge, side lunge, side lunge, side lunge. 
Alignment for a triangle. Reaching way ahead of you. And lower down. Triangle pose. Keep your knees slightly bent. You don't want to hyperextend here, especially during pregnancy. With the relaxing hormone relaxing production and you're actually having a little more flexibility in your joints both hands on the floor forward bend feet parallel to each other wide legged forward bend shifting over to the opposite side belly in come up align for triangle lower down Lengthening both sides of the torso. And from here coming up, take warrior two, left knee leading to side angle, maybe clasping under to deepen that stretch. And walk your hands over to the opposite side. Warrior two, side angle, clasping, coming up, plie, our friend, slow pulses here. Come back to your breath. Inhale your hands over the head, sink a little deeper and we'll stretch side to side here looking up. Clasping the hands over the head, opposite side. Changing. 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 And changing. Holding plie. Stepping onto the outer and inner edges of the feet. Now, if you start this routine a little early into your pregnancy, it will be very beneficial because later on you may not be able to do the things if you haven't worked up to them. Plie is important to do during pregnancy, but if you don't do it from the very beginning, maybe midway through, it will be a little too late. And if you're getting up to here and you can do some of the poses, but some feel achy, go to my beginner routine, stay active, but stay on the safe side. Go a little deeper. It's really good for your legs to be strong. Go a little deeper. Ooh, I feel it. And from here, we are going to come out. I can feel it in my legs. I'll grab one dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, you don't need a dumbbell and we'll do side lunges with straight back. Stepping the right foot out to the side. One, two, straight back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, changing sides. One, pushing the booty back. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
9 and 10 and from here you can place your dumbbell down straight back and we'll go for one legged deadlifts so we are going to focus on our drishti point you can have a chair next to you to grab onto if you need to soft knee on the standing leg so standing on the right leg we are going to touch the floor with a straight back and either touch your toes or tap your knee in front of you as you come up one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten balancing during pregnancy is a good thing to work on opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten coming back to the front of the mat inhale reach Step your feet a little wider or hip width apart, exhale, so that you can fit your belly in between if you're more flexible. So a little bit upper body work, step back into pike press, fingertips pointing slightly towards each other. So basically they're forming a star kind of like a diamond shape in between the fingers walk your feet a little closer to you then for um, down dog come on to your tippy toes and we're going to lower down and press back up which is strengthening our upper back and shoulders tricep which is important and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and from here come into a squat yogic squat just to reset everything if you can keep your heels down that is great obviously squatting is a very important birthing pose so important to practice it during your pregnancy along with your kegels we can wrap one elbow around the right hand and around the right uh, knee sorry and you can wrap your hands behind clasping to open up the upper back opposite side if anything feels very as if it's pulling anywhere on your belly skip it it really depends on your own personal alignment and where you're flexible where you're less flexible so just listen to your body back to squat straightening the legs forward bent straight back come up and from here we're going to go for regular squats Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart. Toes pointing forward and really I want you to press into your heels. Do not give me squats from your uh, tippy toes. Press into your heels. How deep you go into the squat, that's up to you. If you feel comfortable with a deep squat, go ahead and give me a deep squat. Otherwise you can just go half squat or even a third of a squat or just ties parallel to the floor so wherever you're at it's all good let's go one 
Pressing the knees out as you squat. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reaching over the head, side to side bends. From here, let's shift the weight onto the right leg. Step back into high lunge. Lower the knee, left knee five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And here, something I'm liking Feel free to skip it and repeat the knee bending is as you come up you tap your right leg off the floor so it's a modified jump lunge where you're just jumping with the front leg one two three four and five and the opposite side lowering one two three four and five and one, two, three, four, and five. Step it back to the front. From here, we are going to, something I'm loving, step your left foot back and cross, cross lunge to side lift. So we're working on that hip strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and ten more squats if you want to skip squats you can do wall squats sitting on a wall so listen to your body one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here we're gonna do pulses with the legs, kind of ballet pulses. I will use my um, my loop band. I'll link below which one I'm using and you're going to wrap the band around your right ankle you can hold on to something and press back with your left foot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's do twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty and that now side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten enough and opposite side one two three contracting the body four five six seven eight nine ten one two 
20 and side ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And from here, we can sit down on the floor and bring the right ankle above the left knee for flexing the feet for double pigeon letting a nice stretch here through the hips And changing sides. Flex your feet, shin bones aligning. If the top knee doesn't lay all the way down, that's fine. Let's open the legs out, forward bend, flex the feet, press the booty back. Coming back up, soles of the feet together, butterfly stretch. You can use your elbows to open the knees out to the sides. You can use your hands. Inhale, coming back up. That should feel good all around your tailbone. And from here, we're going to finish with one more booty session. It's a quickie today, but something to get your moving and working and using your muscles. So, come to the front of your mat, step the left foot back, and we, uh, we're doing a lunge with a booty kick. So the left leg is kicking, lunge, booty kick, lunge, booty kick, lunge, booty kick, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And five more of a lunge and a forward tilt. So we are keeping the back straight and doing kind of like a deadlift engaging the body lunge you should feel it burning your body nothing else not your lower back if it's your lower back you're not aligning correctly so maybe just do a wall sit two three four and five excellent that is a complete burn in the Glutes, opposite side. Lower down, booty kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down, lean forward. One. Two, three, four, 
and five and come to the front of the mat squat one more or last time <clears throat> forward bend so here because we can't flatten down you're going to make sure that your booty is not peeling off the mat staying on the mat and extending the spine here forward so you can feel the stretch let's go side to side and since we're not doing any more shavasana you can stay in butterfly pose for just a minute or so allowing yourself to come back to the moment appreciate the present moment express gratitude for everything that is part of your life right now everything that you're blessed with also express gratitude for your challenges and not only for your blessings but it's always good to acknowledge that the challenges are also blessings in disguise and I will allow you to stay here for a few moments just appreciating the moment and allowing yourself to soak in the moment be present thanks for joining me today namaste